so we just came here to the masjid. We thought it's gonna be taraweeh today, but. Uh, uh, How is your fasting going on, first of all? Good. Mashallah, mashallah. This is your what, what day? Uh, okay, this is Ramadan decorations. That's how it is. What was the job of Prophet Nuh? To like give the uh, message for Tawheed to his people, and when they don't listen. Hi there, and welcome to Thirty Days in Canada in Ramadan with Adil Allah. I hope you guys are enjoying our previous episodes. Today we're trying to make a different episode than the others. We'll make it about a subject that everyone is talking about. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, before we continue, please, as I told you, don't forget to share, subscribe and like so that we can continue on our videos. The more we get likes and shares and comments, the more we make the video amazing. I know the previous videos were not a lot of shares and likes and views, but we'll continue and make it more interesting. Let's talk about today's topic. So one of today's topics, or well, the main topic that everyone who wants to come to Canada want to know which is the more expensive uh, city to live in and which is the most cheaper city to live in. So let's talk. Now, in terms of the prices of the food or groceries that you buy from the stores and everything, basically it's the same in all over Canada because the food basic here in Toronto is the same food basic there in Calgary or in Fort Mac or the other cities. The, th the other thing that might be expensive might be the restaurants. From a city to a city, it's a different price because it depends on the living there and how many people and how many customers, right? Depends on the demand. But let's. So you see the differences, difference, there's a difference, one million different between the cost of a house in Calgary and the cost of a house here in Toronto. So that's one thing. If you see in the other cities, there are cities that you can still find the house for $200,000. The same size of the house you see in front of you here. But here's very, very, very expensive. So from a city to a city, a different in the price of the house. Now, also, if you don't buy a house and you're renting, same thing, because it depends on the cost of the house itself. So there are cities that you can rent a whole house like that. You can rent it for $1,500. Now here in Milton, which is an hour from the main city of downtown Toronto, you can find this house, you need to rent it for at least 3,000. 3,200, 3,500. But as I told you, in other cities, you might find it for 1,500, 1,200, 1,300. So the cost of living expense, in order for you to know what is the difference between the city city, it depends on the rent or if you're buying the house. So now how do you know what are the prices of each house? So to know what are the prices of each house, so basically, you have to go to, maybe I'll give you two sites that I know. So you go to one of the sites called KGG, go to KGG, and then put the address for the city you want to live in and check how much is the rent. Or if you want to buy a house or also rent a house, you can go to the other website, which is very popular here, it's Realtor, which basically the real estate agents always use. So. They always use, real estate always use that side. 
so whenever they buy a house i mean they sell houses and all those things so go to that site and put the city name again and put the you know the area or the postal code or you know just go let's say you want to go to stay basically in milton so go to milton and search you need to put the number of rooms and after you put the number of rooms you need to put like you know a number of washrooms and all this thing then you will know what is the rent of that specific house by that you will know how expensive that city so if you want to go to calgary go to calgary just mark the area like northwest of calgary or east west and all those things and then it will show you the cost of the houses by that you will know which city you want to live in in order to decide if the living expense is high or not because it depends again on the cost of the house or the rent so i hope by this explanation it will help you to decide what city you want to be in and i hope everything would be helpful but again if you put comment below and let me know exactly if there's more things you want to know let me know just comment it below and i will make a video to make it easier for you to decide in what city you'll be living in again don't forget to share subscribe like and see you in another episode in 30 days in ramadan in canada with adil Allah.